Hello, hello. So um, this is what I have on the bench this week. I'm working on kind of calibrating these Bell Howell Schools digital multimeters. I got a pair of them just because they're relatively cheap and I really love the Nixie tubes. Um, so these Bell Howell pieces of kit were basically a rebrand of those Heath kit IM1212s. Um, same bit of kit, but they sold them to schools for their education labs and whatnot. <clears throat> so um, there is a, a relatively robust calibration procedure, but that's for all the ranges. Um, I'm currently just really working with DC voltage right now. I just want to get it bang on because I'm restoring this um, transistor tester over here and I want these to be um, accurate while I'm doing so. Um, so I'm just going to get in there and calibrate the DC voltage range. And um, these ones in particular make it really easy on the user. Basically they tell you to put a, a voltage probe or you know a crow probe or something in here and there's an internal voltage reference that they've measured for you and written the exact value um, and then there's this little dc cal tp test point that you would hook up your lead to and you would then dial in one of the little potentiometers until it read that correct value um, i'm gonna go one step further um, i'm going to retest this voltage reference. So what I have here is my negative end on my multimeter hooked up to ground and it's in the voltage setting range and I'm going to make sure this is on DC voltage and be very careful poking in here because there is mains voltage going through that transformer in the back. However, I can sneakily get my probe onto the DC test point and then I can read the voltage which I'm getting about 1.887 consistently. Um, they wrote it as 1.846, so it's a little bit off. I'm gonna go with my Fluke and use 1.887 as my, as my voltage reference. So um, now that I do not need this guy hooked up or anything, I'm just gonna get the lead out of there. It's kind of a, a little Hole. I jammed it in there pretty good. All right, that came out relatively difficult, but um, okay. So now it's time to hook this guy up. Hook that guy up to voltage. And then hook this guy up to the test point. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off for now. Um, while I'm in here, I'm going to connect this up. I'm gonna give it a bit of a shake to get through whatever corrosion might be on that pin. Just double check, uh, nothing's shorting or anything like that. And we should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy back on. And we're on the DC voltage range. Um, I can tell right away that it's out of spec. I should be reading that 1.887, so on the higher end of 1.8. Um, so there is a tiny, little adjustment pot called DC Cal that we're gonna be adjusting. Now I don't really have a, a plastic tweaker tool. I, I should get one, um, but this is luckily has a little plastic cap over it. So I'm not gonna be shorting anything out by adjusting this. I'm just gonna get that in there. We're gonna tweak this up until it reads 1.88. I might even overshoot to 1.89. 1.89. Nine. I'm trying to go as slow as I can. 1.89. So since it was on the higher end of 1.88, I might just round it up and keep it there. But I'm, I wonder if I can get it on the precipice. See, that looked like it was on the on the verge of changing over. See how it's flickering like that? I'm going to call that good. Um, the fact that I can barely put some pressure on and it flickers up to 9 means that it's on the higher end of that 1.88 scale. So 1.88. 1.886, I don't really know, but it's on that higher end, which is what we measured. So I'm gonna call that good. This guy is uh, calibrated. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one, and I'm gonna have uh, two very well calibrated DC voltmeters. Thanks for uh, joining me. I hope you had uh, fun and learned a little bit about it. Take care, bye.